I'm Alexandra. I'm in sixth grade, and I play the violin. Notice how I play the violin was part of the sentence I used to introduce myself. I guess you could say it's a really important part of who I am. I've always been passionate about music in general, but there was always something special about the violin. I've wanted to play it since I was around two or three, but everyone said I was too young. Eventually, my constant nagging convinced the rest of my family to seriously start thinking of taking violin lessons when I was six. One little discovery helped them realize I was meant to pursue this though. My older sister, Marianne, who enjoys music just as much as I do, discovered that I have perfect pitch since she has it herself. Perfect pitch is basically the ability to tell the difference between the different notes without a reference, which automatically enables you to also produce notes, also without a reference. For example, if someone plays the notes DO on an instrument, I recognize it as the note DO. I just know! To me, knowing the different notes is just like knowing my name. It's pretty cool that only roughly one in 10,000 people possess perfect pitch. But here, Marianne and I are being called human pianos by our family and friends. <laughs> the way my sister discovered this is a funny story, actually. Once, when I was three and a half years old, and when my sister came home from school and started eating lunch, I brought my iPad and joined her. I can already see the adults in the audience shaking their heads in disapproval. <laughs> Although my intentions were good, and I really did want to keep her company, I just started playing around the memory game. I turned the volume up so we could both hear the sounds the game made. After a while, my sister realized that for a kid my age, I was doing really well. She also noticed that I was reproducing the sounds exactly the way they came out of that little iPad without any added effort. So she eventually asked me what note each of those sounds was. I remember her laughing when I got them right from the very start. She always tells me how wonderful it was to discover my perfect pitch. She didn't even know it was a thing until she was 12, so she must have been really happy to be able to catch mine early on. Once the word got out in the family, everyone liked to test me out and play games. I put on blindfolds and guess chords with around as many as eight distinct notes or figure out the notes of ringtones or notifications on phones. Sometimes, when I'm really bored at the airport or in a long car ride, the notes of beeping sounds just pop into my head! <laughs> anyway, I think I bored you all enough with all the perfect pitch business. Let's get back to me. Music has changed me! Music takes my thoughts and feelings and shapes my imagination and creativity so that I start to focus better. I write better and I feel better. My memory is really good. For example, I know the entire periodic table by heart, such as element 31 is gallium or number 49 is indium, probably because I've learned to make associations between music and events. When your brain starts wiring in a way to make associations, it probably leads to making other associations too, which lead to a better functioning brain. <laughs> In conclusion, would you agree that music has done good things to me? Think of this, what if energy is transferable? And it is! All the energy that I have that I get from the music, I can transfer to the focused and mindful listener, and we will all have a stronger mind as others have transferred their energy to me. Wow. What I'm going to play right now is a treat to the soul and to the ears. Let's listen to a part of the cadenza of Mozart's Adelaide concerto, first movement. Wow. 